Last night I came across a video on YouTube about why there's three reasons right now during this crisis that we're dealing with is the best time to become a real estate agent. I don't think there's three. I think there's actually endless reasons why right now is the best time to start your real estate career if you've been thinking about it. Like if you're in a, in a transition right now because of all this, what better time to start? I'll tell you why there's more than three reasons. In fact, I did a video on The Real Word this week, a podcast I do, uh, and you can actually see the video right on my YouTube channel. This was 12 things agents shouldn't be doing right now is referencing an Inman article. All 12 of these things that agents shouldn't be doing right now could be reasons why it's a perfect time to become a real estate agent. In fact, what's not on this list is the average age of the realtor in this country is over 58 years old. In your community that you're sitting in right now watching this, it's likely over 60 years old. In many cases it is over 60. But let me tell you these 12 things that all agents should stop doing right now, according to this Inman article, and how every single one of these can be turned into an advantage for somebody who's gonna get into the industry today as a new agent. Number one, wasting time while overindulging. Wasting time while overindulging. What does overindulging mean? It means instead of watching one show on Netflix, you might watch 12, right? You might just bang out a season. Agents continuously overindulge so that they don't have to do the work that they're supposed to be doing, right? Self-isolating, uh, you know, just watching too much TV, eating too much. These are things agents do with or without a crisis, leaving a huge opportunity for anybody thinking about getting in. Number two, holding normal open houses and otherwise enabling looky loose. So I get it right now, we're in this situation altogether, this health crisis. You can't host normal open houses, nor should you. You should be being very creative, you should be doing virtuals, you should be doing uh, social distance, private showings with masks and all of that. But holding normal open houses, during normal times, many agents find reasons not to hold normal open houses, because when are no normal open houses held? Saturday and Sunday. That creates a great opportunity for new agents because a lot of agents, maybe they've been in the game a long time, don't want to work on Saturday and Sunday. So if you're willing to work in prime time, right, Sunday is the Super Bowl for real estate agents. It's when you're going to meet the most prospective buyers. If you're willing to put in the time during the peak days, Saturday and Sunday, you're going to clean up as a new agent. Number three, failing to loop everybody everyone involved in the selling process on current showing guidelines. I'll take it another step further. The number one complaint from consumers is lack of communication. If you're willing to communicate in a health crisis, out of a health crisis, no matter what the time is, it's a perfect opportunity for you to get into real estate. Number four, not reading confidential remarks, not reading anything, which is what agents do too much, not reading the information and data that your consumer needs, never mind the confidential remarks on the MLS, right? That should go without question if you're showing a property 100% of the time in or out of a health crisis, right? But if you're reading data, consuming the right information, not like media stuff, but like the data of what's happening in your market, you're gonna be valuable to buyers and sellers no matter what. And right now is a more than opportunistic time to take advantage of that. Number five, arguing with other agents showing restrictions. A lot of agents will see new agents and they'll start to argue with them, tell them how it is, tell them this is the way we've always done it, right? If you're willing to come in and put emotions aside, so what happens to a lot of new agents, they don't put their emotions aside. If you can put your emotions aside, you're going to crush in real estate at any time. Number six, not thinking through your own showing instructions. You should be able to put in a great game plan, right? They're talking about right now during the pandemic that you should have certain instructions on how you should show. You should do that anyway. You should be able to build a game plan anyway. If you're someone that knows I build great game plans, it's a perfect time to come into real estate. Letting sellers and buyers make uninformed decisions, this happens Again, during a health crisis and not during a health crisis, if you're willing to be the consultant, if you're willing to be the professional and always inform your buyers and sellers, inform them of what's going on, 
you're gonna have great success in real estate. Leaving home without a mask, gloves, and cleaning products. Okay, so maybe that one I can't reverse into uh, being a great reason why right now is a real is time to be a real estate agent. It's common sense stuff. I get it. It's a little bit of um, more of, of the health crisis thing. Number nine, spreading fake news. Agents do this constantly. I can't tell you how many agents, and you probably see this, even if you're not an agent, you probably see this in your community where people will, agents will literally on their personal Facebook profile be making nothing but political posts after political posts after political posts. If you're somebody that's doing that, don't get into real estate. If you're somebody that can leave those opinions uh, you know, on the inside or just not even pay attention to them and just educate buyers and sellers in the real estate market, then right now is a great time to get in real estate. But if you're gonna alienate 50%, and I'm not taking sides here at all, but if you're gonna alienate either side, then don't get into real estate. And you see agents doing this all the time, so that leaves an opportunity for you to come in there and eat their lunch. Because 50% of the people right off the bat don't wanna work with the agents that are doing that in your marketplace. Number 10, giving health advice to strangers online. I don't care what profession you're in, you shouldn't be doing this. And if you're just willing to educate people like we've been talking about through this whole thing, educate people on what's happening in the real estate market, you're gonna be ahead of 90% of agents. And remember, before I get to the last two, remember, over 87% of agents fail before the fourth year. That alone is a huge reason why right now is a great time to get into real estate, right? While people aren't thinking real estate, while people aren't thinking, should I get my license? They're just thinking about how do I stay afloat? There's always tremendous opportunity. Number 11, not mastering online meeting technology. This could be one of the biggest. I'm not gonna go back to the age stat that I, that I said earlier, but there are a number of agents that are just unwilling to figure out how to shoot video, to figure out how to do a Zoom listing appointment, to figure out how to share on dot loop and go screen share the dot loop contract and go over it with their clients. If you can master or you already understand technology intuitively, you're gonna have great opportunity in real estate. Number 12, expecting things to go back to normal. Things will never be normal, right? Like the industry, people that know, comment below if you're in real estate right now, people that are in this industry know things are changing fast no matter what, with or without a health crisis. If you're willing to adapt, pivot all the time, be a true entrepreneur, real estate is definitely something you should be thinking about. I don't think you should be waiting for the perfect time. I think you should be doing it now because there are a million, not three, but a million reasons why right now is the perfect time for you to start your real estate career.